Okay. Uh, my name is Tika Sumter, and I play Alicia on Mixed Dish. My name is Mark Paul Gosler, and I play Paul. It's hard to say. I play <laughs> oh, Paul. Oh, it's not. I play he Paul. Plays Paul. I play Paul. <laughs> I was a fan of Blackfish. I was a fan of them taking these current issues and making them funny. And it's it's for everybody. At first, you're like Blackfish. Wait, you're kind of black. What are you saying? And then you you got what they were doing, and then you're like settled into who they are. I'm I'm new to the Ish world, I and mean, this is like one of those shows. I think why haven't I been watching this this show? Just like Blackfish, we're gonna take very relevant issues that still pertain to today. That's what I think excited both of us. It was stuff that we are dealing with now. My, my thing is if you're a fan of Blackish and you've followed their story for the past five years, is that you will see the origin of Rainbow Johnson, which is such a beloved character. It, it's just an easy transition for you to watch our show and it, you know what's, what's not to love about that. Paul and Alicia met each other at Berkeley Law. They got married and were sort of forced into the commune. They ran away from society in a way because a lot of their friends and family didn't accept, the didn't relationship. accept the, this relationship. Yeah, I think one of the qualities that I like about Paul is uh, the, the, the side of him that's the free spirit because uh, that's comp totally not me. Yeah, no. At all. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I am not a free spirit. For me, I mean, I think I'm still finding Alicia, but for me, it was like the goofy part of her. And so I love that I can just be a black girl who's goofy. I love that about Alicia. I think they'll love our show because I think they're going to love our family. I think they're going to fall in love with the characters and then they'll follow the characters on whatever journey they have. So, you know, there's just so many different range of, of cultural differences that you have to work with. And so I have a child who's, who's uh, biracial. And what I think what this show has done for me is teach me how to talk to her and build confidence within herself to go out into the world and just be whoever she chooses to be. Yeah, and, and, and being someone who is mixed, I never had to think about it until it was brought up because I, I, of the way I looked. I, I was, you know, uh, arguably America's favorite white boy at one point, you know, and it's like now, uh, it's like, wait, that guy is mixed? Yeah. I think the show also is not only about biracial and being mixed, but it's about, you've said this quite a bit, it's about otherness, like where do you, where do you, where do you fit, fit in? in? Yeah. So we delve into what all like. these things that what is black and what does that mean within families, you know? So it's not, it's about being mixed and biracial, but it's also about identity. Yeah, it's, it's I, I'm, I'm so, I feel so fortunate to be given this opportunity to sort of educate through comedy uh, some of the things that we need a little bit more... Uh, Light shut on. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs>